The new season of Demon Slayer is dropping real soon. We thought we'd give you a complete recap of all the important events so that you can be ready. So without further ado, let's get into it. The season begins with Akaza meeting Muzan, who is disappointed for his failure in not killing Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke. Tanjiro goes to see Rengoku's father and learns of the first breathing technique, called sun breathing. Four months after Rengoku's death, Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke accompany the Sound Hashira Tengen Uzui to their next mission, infiltrating the famed Yoshiwara Red Light District, where demons are said to reside. To investigate the demons, Tengen has sent his three wives to infiltrate the three largest courtesan houses in the district. However, he stopped receiving messages from them. Tengen disguises Tanjiro, Inosuke, and Zenitsu as girls and sells them to the three houses in order to find clues about his wife's whereabouts. It is revealed that Makio is being held captive in Inosuke's house, being restrained by numerous obi, and being interrogated by a mysterious female voice. Inosuke quickly catches on and senses something moving through the ceilings and walls, though he cannot pinpoint it. Meanwhile, Zenitsu recognizes Warabihime, the house's oiran, as a demon, but is attacked by her in anger. It is revealed that her demon name is Daki, the upper rank six. Later, Zenitsu wakes up and is stealthily captured by Daki. Tanjiro, Inosuke, and Tengen realize Zenitsu is missing. Tengen questions the master of Zenitsu's house at knife point to gain information and Tanjiro follows a scent coming from its direction. He is then confronted by Daki and the two begin to fight. Daki easily overpowers Tanjiro with her numerous sashes. Then one of the straps on Nezuko's box breaks, forcing Tanjiro to put her down. He prepares to fight alone. Tengen finds Hinatsuru on the outskirts of the district, having poisoned herself to escape her house. Battling Daki by himself, Tanjiro tries to use his Hinokami Kagura, but realizes he's at his limit. Elsewhere, Inosuke discovers an incredibly narrow passageway under his house, leading to a cavern full of obi that Daki has used to absorb her victims. Inosuke starts freeing the people trapped inside. He frees Suma and Makio, the other two wives, as well as Zenitsu. As Tanjiro and Daki battle, Daki destroys the district. The enraged Tanjiro nearly slashes her neck with the Hinokami Kagura, though Daki saves herself by transforming her neck into an obi, making it difficult to cut. After another barrage of attacks, Tanjiro nearly cuts Daki's neck again. However, he collapses due to his lack of breathing. Daki approaches and Nezuko defends Tanjiro. As they fight, Nezuko matures in appearance, filled with rage. Nezuko overwhelms Daki and throws her into an inhabited building. Blinded by her rage, her demonic bloodlust kicks in and she attacks a bleeding civilian before Tanjiro intervenes, restraining her. Tengen soon arrives and beheads Daki with ease. However, Daki does not die. Instead, she wails and cries, causing her brother Gyutaro to emerge from within her. Gyutaro is much stronger and begins fighting Tengen, using his sickles and blood demon art. Overwhelmed, Tengen struggles to stand his ground while protecting the civilians, as Daki and Gyutaro fight as one. As they fight, he separates the siblings, but realizes he was poisoned by Gyutaro's earlier cut. The district is evacuated by Suma and Makio, while Hinatsuru recovers. Planning to behead them simultaneously, Daki engages Zenitsu and Inosuke, while Gyutaro clashes with Tengen and Tanjiro. Hinatsuru enters the fight and fires wisteria-laced kunais at Gyutaro, allowing Tengen and Tanjiro to move in and reach his neck. Gyutaro neutralizes the wisteria poison and regenerates his legs, allowing him to stop their charge. With his blood demon art, he fends off Tengen and grabs Hinatsuru. Tanjiro combines his Hinokami Kagura and water breathing to save her. After another attack, Gyutaro stops the blades from hitting him and unleashes his blood demon art again, forcing Tengen to throw himself and Gyutaro away to save Hinatsuru and Tanjiro. With Tengen fighting Gyutaro alone, Tanjiro joins the fight against Daki. Coordinating their attacks, Tanjiro and Zenitsu open the way for Inosuke, who saws off Daki's head with his swords and runs away with it, preventing reattachment. Gyutaro suddenly appears, stabbing Inosuke and retrieving Daki's head. Tengen is injured and downed. Gyutaro berates Tanjiro, slamming him around the burning city. Gyutaro proposes he become a demon, willing to spare him. Tanjiro responds by headbutting him, simultaneously stabbing him with a poisoned kunai. He attempts his Hinokami Kagura once more to behead him. Daki sees this, but is attacked by Zenitsu before she can intervene, using his fastest form to reach her neck. Gyutaro recovers and attacks, but Tengen intervenes, despite his wounds. Seeing his chance, Tanjiro reaches Gyutaro's neck whilst getting stabbed in the jaw. Summoning his remaining strength, he begins to slice through. Inosuke reveals that he moved his internal organs upon getting stabbed, causing Gyutaro to miss his heart. The demon slayers then simultaneously behead the siblings. Gyutaro's body explodes, sending waves of blood blades and destroying the city. Nezuko burns the blood blades with her blood demon art and removes the poison, saving everyone. The serpent Hashira Obanai Iguro arrives and Tengen reveals he intends to retire. He informs him of Tanjiro's potential. Elsewhere, an increasingly ill Kagaya is overjoyed at the news and expresses his pride in Tengen, the three young demon slayers and Nezuko, noting Muzan's defeat is near. Now you should be fully equipped to watch season 3. If you like this video, please drop a like and subscribe, it'll help us out a lot. And if you want to see a recap of any other series, please drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.